Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Uh, this video and the next one I'm going to do, I'm just recording them right, uh, both today, uh, are going to be knives that are not my typical style. Alright, I, I like all knives, but I tend to gravitate toward uh, the traditionals, uh, if I have moderns, I tend to, you know, something with uh, maybe a drop point or a spear point, um, EDC focused rather than tactical. But this video and my next one are going to be uh, a couple of knives with a bit more of a tactical focus. And um, I got both of these actually because they were different than what I usually have. And I got... Uh, a really good price on all of these. This knife is uh, from Ontario Knife Company out of New York, and this is one of their Strike Fighter series. Uh, I forget what the specific model is, I will uh, try to put it in the description. Um, but they made several different styles of this Strike Fighter, and this ticks a couple of firsts for me. This is my first automatic. Um, and I don't know that I'm going to get any more automatics. I've never really uh, wanted one that much. Um, you know, quite honestly, I think pretty much most people can activate uh, a flipper just as quickly as an auto, um, or at least close enough that it's not going to make any practical difference. Plus, automatics have just more parts to break. You know, that spring can go. So I've never really wanted an automatic, but this was discontinued and it was uh, fairly inexpensive, at least for an automatic, for, for a good quality American made automatic. So I decided to give it a try. And you know, I, I do kind of like it. Uh, again, not my typical style, but um, you know, sort of interesting. So let's take a look at this knife. Oops, sorry about my camera there. All right, as I say, this is from Ontario Knife Company. You can see it has uh, aluminum scales. Uh, they are milled, so you get a reasonably good grip. I, I have a love-hate relationship with aluminum scales. They can sometimes be very slippery. These are not bad. These uh, hold up pretty well. Um, pocket clip, you can do three positions, okay? You can do tip up or tip down right hand or tip up left hand. Uh, you can't do it tip down left hand because that's where the button is. The length on this closed is about four and a half, four and three quarter inches, somewhere in there. You can see you have the lock or the safety back here. You pull it back and then you can activate it. Uh, the pocket clip OKC for Ontario Knife Company. Again, this is made in the US. And the action is pretty good. Um, you can see this is a combination blade. Uh, again, normally I like straight flat profiles on my blades. I don't generally uh, have a lot of knives with serrations, but this is what was available. And I thought, you know, for something different, that's probably fine. You can see it has sort of a strange blade profile that I really wasn't sure I was going to like when I ordered it, but it really locks your fingers in. Um, you know, you get your thumb on here, get your index finger in here, and it really, it really locks in. So I actually do now like this blade shape once I've had it. Um, the little ramp here helps quite a lot. The blade on this is, let's get it lined up here, is just about three and three quarter inches. The cutting edge is about a little under three and a half inches, between three and a quarter and three and a half. Uh, you can see there is black coating on this. I don't know off the top of my head what the coating is. Um, this is 154 CM steel. Uh, my first knife in 154 CM. 154 CM was at one point a super steel. Uh, not necessarily considered that anymore. It's not powder steel. The uh, You can get a powdered version of it, the CPM 154. Uh, but the 154 CM is still considered, I think by most people, sort of an upper level, in quotes, steel. Um, and it holds a pretty good edge. 
So I decided to get it. I thought it would be uh, just something nice to have. You can take a look at the profile. Um, you know, a pretty solid blade. Fills the hand quite well. Uh, I don't really get any hot spots from this. Um, you know, I have large hands, and you can see I can get a full four-finger grip, and I have some room left. So I think even extra large hands, this would fit. Um, you could, if you wanted to, choke up a little bit. Not the most comfortable, um, but you could do it. Uh, but otherwise, this really locks your hands in. So I'm fairly happy with this. I don't know that I'm going to get any more automatics, but I'm glad that I finally have one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. If you like this, please subscribe, and I will catch you next time.